I would say how you spend your time and how you spend your money. Spend your time with folks, building with folks, uh, spend time on black farms, getting here. Sorry, is that better? So I said how you spend your time and how you spend your money are two major components, right? Spend your time with folks in community, get your hands dirty, learn a new skill, right? There's a come a time of those networks that we rebuilt during the pandemic around mutual aid that were no strangers to us um, as that's what we relied on on generation after generation. We rebuilt some of those things during the pandemic. Don't let those things go. Right? We're going to re need those networks, those connections in neighborhoods, in communities to feed ourselves and protect ourselves again. Um, the way you spend your money, yeah, don't spend your money with people that are going to use it against you. All right? Buy food from black farmers. Uh, somewhere in your community, in your neighborhood, and somewhere in your region, there's a co-op movement, there's a farm movement. Somewhere you can plug into and spend those. Spend that time, donate, uh, invest, and uh, and build with your folks. Um, I would also say, you know, there's individuals that are doing the work. Tap in, whether it's um, picking up some literature and reading yourself. Um, political education is always going to be an important part of building movements and building the knowledge base and the frame for what we're seeing, right? It helps you interpret what you're seeing. Uh, knowing history means you can kind of predict what cycles are happening so we can be ahead of things uh, and not being, uh, you know, being proactive and not letting things happen to us. Um, so those are some of the strategies and ideas and things I would say are important for tapping in where you are uh, and plugging in with people that are already doing the work and being a joiner, right? <laughs>